A 43-year-old man has been killed in an execution-type homicide while walking to a mosque for an evening prayer in Philadelphia, police said on Wednesday. The victim was shot multiple times and received gunshot wounds to his chest and torso and at least one to his head, Philadelphia Police Chief Inspector Scott Small said. The suspect remains at large, police said, adding that the motive behind the killing is yet unknown. The name of the victim has not been released. Surveillance footage captured the shooting in the parking lot. You can clearly see our victim walking to this mosque for a prayer service. He was walking with another male. You see the shooter run up behind the victim, and from just a few feet away, begin firing shots, Small said during a press briefing. The shooter continued firing after the victim collapsed onto the parking lot. Police responded to reports of gunfire and a shooting on the 1500 block of Germantown Avenue shortly before 5 p.m. Eastern Time, authorities said. Investigators found 17 spent shell casings the scene, fired from a large-caliber semi-automatic weapon. There is a $20,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest and conviction, police said. Unrest and street clashes broke out across Venezuela, after the electoral authority announced that Nicolas Maduro had been re-elected for another six-year term as president. Maduro will be serving a third consecutive six-year term, having first taken office in 2013 following the death of President Hugo Chavez. The National Electoral Council announced that with 80% of ballots counted, Maduro had secured more than 51% of the vote, compared to 44% for his main rival, Edmundo Gonzalez. The opposition says the vote was marred by fraud, insisting its candidate Edmundo Gonzalez won the ballot. Some opinion polls ahead of the election showed a clear majority for the challenger. Large numbers of riot police and soldiers were deployed in Caracas to disperse protesters and prevent them from approaching the presidential palace. Crowds of people were seen chanting, Freedom! and calling for the government to fall. Footage showed posters of President Maduro ripped down, while tires, cars and trash were set alight. In a televised address from Caracas, Maduro accused the opposition of attempting to impose a coup d'état in Venezuela. Opposition leaders rejected Maduro's allegations, and called for peaceful protests across the country. As Maduro spoke, demonstrators reportedly tried to block highways, including one that connects the capital with Simon Bolivar International Airport. A number of countries, as well as international bodies including the UN, have called on the Venezuelan authorities to release voting records from individual polling stations. Argentina has refused to recognize Maduro's victory. In response Venezuela has recalled diplomats from Buenos Aires. Diplomats from six other Latin American countries Chile, Costa Rica, Panama, Peru, the Dominican Republic and Uruguay, have also been withdrawn in response to the international outcry. Nine Latin American countries have called for an emergency meeting of the Organization of American States Permanent Council due to concerns over the election results. Quitaron la bandera de Cuba.